Die studentenorganisatie Open Stellenbosch sê dat is meer professors met bymaties met die naam Johan as wat daar swart professors is. Die groep wat geskoe is op die omstrede veld of roads must fall, het die afgelopen week die campus met taalbetogings tot stilstand gebring. Wat wil hulle hee? En sal hulle hoe genaamd enige Afrikaans op campus dood? Ek is zelfs nou met de lid van die Open Stellenbosch collectief, Majeletje Matume. Welcome Majeletje to Insig. Thank you for What are the goals of the Open Stellenbosch campaign, briefly? Briefly, the goals of the Open Stellenbosch campaign, we're trying to patch the remnants of apartheid at, open, at Stellenbosch University. Which remnants, according to you, survive? Uh, we still have the language issue. I'm still forced to learn in Afrikaans, even though the institution know that I can't understand any Afrikaans at all. So we have those issues. And secondly, the institution is extremely patriarchal. And we haven't, we haven't yet looked at the issue of curriculum. We're still at the bottom of ensuring that experiences of people in class are as they should be. So you've heard this question before. There are 22 universities in the country. Only two of them are predominantly Afrikaans and not even so predominantly anymore. Yeah. Why did you go to Stellenbosch? Well, I think to answer that question, we have to look at what those people are asking, right? If you listen to, themse to themselves, they are trying to say, well, yes, we are excluding you. But that's not the point. The point is every South African should be able to go to any institution in the country. There shouldn't be any institution called Sepedi institution or is it Kosa institution. But should there be English institutions? Not even English institution. There should just be an institution of learning where everyone can have access. So if everyone have access through English or Sepedi, so be it. Okay, but practically though, a university <coughs> must select a language or languages of instruction. Okay. Of course. And so uh, universities have their own language policies in accordance with the constitution which says in Article 29 of the Bill of Rights, everyone has the right to receive education in the official language or language of their choice in public educational institutions. And then it does add where that education is reasonably practical. Now, defenders of the old language policy even would yeah. say that the Western Cape is predominantly Afrikaans yeah. and that Afrikaans kids who can't speak English yeah. might be excluded by a policy um, that drives the language of instruction increasingly towards English. What is the, uh, the view of the Open Stellenbosch campaign about students like those? Well, as Open Stellenbosch, I, I'm, I happened to be in a classroom last week where uh, when the beginning of the semester where the lecture asked the question, how many people can understand? It was African students who raised their hands and said, this is confusing. We understand English, right? We understand English. The material is in English. If this is going to cause so much friction, why are we forcing it given that we can be able to learn in English? So a majority of African uh, students can understand to, uh, English and they are willing to learn in English. So that's not... A problem. What if their preference is, I'm going to push you a little bit on this point, you've had this before, but what yeah. if their preference is in line with the constitution that they would prefer to have their instruction in Afrikaans? And, and what if they cannot understand English because such students actually exist? Yeah, if they can't understand English, the university is going to have to sort that out. But that doesn't mean that the majority of people should suffer as a result, right? We are not trying, we are not, here's the issue, we are not fighting against Afrikaans. Most people don't get this part. We are not fighting against Afrikaans. We are trying to ensure that everyone is catered for at the institution, right? And as for the issue of preference, you can't speak of preference before you speak of access. We sort out the access to education for everyone. Once that is sorted, we can then ask, is everyone receiving that education in the medium that they would prefer? Then you sort out that issue. Majeluche, so um, this week there were some disruptions on, on campus yeah. um, and the methods of Open Stellenbosch have be, been subjected to some scrutiny. Yeah. Um, the Vice Chancellor Wim de Vere yeah. said that there may be disciplinary action um, because of disruptions to classes and a jobs fair yeah. on the so called Roy Plain, the above, Roy the, Plain yeah. above the library at the university. Why does Open Stellenbosch resort to these methods? Well, Open Stellenbosch have tried to engage with management on the issues. We've tried in student parliament. We've, given re we've been given responses by uh, Squin Wengel that said, this is Stellenbosch, what did you expect? So we've tried to ask for a meeting with uh, Wim de Villiers. Wim de Villiers just didn't want to meet us. We gave him a memorandum of, of demands. We expected him to respond. He didn't engage with us directly. 
Film developers also didn't want to come onto this program, so I may understand what you're getting at, but you were invited by him to a roundtable discussion yeah. about some of these issues and said you will not go to the roundtable discussion, he must come to where the students are. Exactly. Why be so obstructive? We are not being obstructive. The issue here is um, if transformation should work in such a way that even ourselves as the ones who demand transformation, we must set the terms, right? You can't be sitting here being at the position of privilege. You don't know the experiences of people who undergo these uh, 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 instances where they feel like they don't belong in class because they can't understand. What do you know of that? You can't be determining the terms of those engagements. We are saying he must come into our space where we determine the terms. Because in his space, given the patriarchal nature of Stellenbosch, we won't be able to, to, view, uh, to voice our concerns as clear as we would in that particular space. Um, Majalice, to which extent does <coughs> Open Stellenbosch recognize changes that have occurred at Stellenbosch over the last yeah. few years, including in the language policy, which last year changed to such an extent that many Afrikaans students and alumni at the university mm. felt it was going way too far to accommodate English. Do you recognize that there's been movement? Well, here's the issue as far as uh, movement is concerned, right? You can't say, yesterday I gave you two lashes. Today I'm giving you one. Be glad. No. We, as Open Stellenbosch, we refuse to take that. You can't tell me Stellenbosch has been exclusionary so hard the past five years. It's better. Shut up. That's, that's what the, the kind of response we get, and we refuse to, to engage on, the, on that level. We can't put a benchmark on, on transformation that low. Okay, my producer's just telling me that Vim actually couldn't make it. It's not that he didn't want to. So, okay. you know, his invitation <laughs> to you guys still stands. So, <clears throat> what will you do now? Um, because the, the, the university's language policy already says, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. um, that English and Afrikaans must be accommodated in class. So if you are English speaking, um, there must be a facility, whether it's translation or something else, yeah. to accommodate you in class. Why is that not enough? Well, first of all, on a practical level, right, um, that thing is just not working. You're supposed to be listening to somebody in your ears, whispering. At the same time, you're supposed to be listening to a lecturer in front of you, speaking in a language that you don't understand. Which, how do you engage with the lecturer? How do you, which one do you listen to? Secondly, it reinforces the idea that if you're not white Afrikaans, you don't belong there. And we don't think that's something Most that we want to Most speakers of Afrikaans in the Western Cape are not white. Sure, but still that's the case. Okay, so what does your perfect Stellenbosch classroom look like and sound like? A perfect Stellenbosch classroom is a classroom where everyone feels they belong there what does and that everyone mean? is what able is that, to learn. What does that mean? What does that mean? It means all classes should be available in English. In English? Yes. Okay, but what if that excludes people who can't understand English? I don't think there are people who will be excluded because they can't understand English, because the institution have facilities to make provisions for them. I mean, I'm, I, I must just say that this is a very complex issue. Nobody's come up with a perfect solution. Okay? Yes. So you guys are grappling with this too. But the, the authors of our constitution envisaged yeah. a multilingual environment where it's possible to study in a language other than English if enough people want it. Yeah. How do you think effect should be given to uh, Article 29.2 of the constitution that guarantees this? Well, In other words, that English doesn't become the only language of instruction at tertiary level. Yeah, well, we are not, we don't see English as the panacea of everything, right? We should promote multilingualism, and we think that's, that's a great thing. We think Stellenbosch have uh, the finances to do that. They should just explore it. In other words, have an English class and an Afrikaans class, would that be your suggestion? Uh, that, I would be very cautious with that, given that it's the same institution where we came up with the ideas of separate development. You would not want so to So you're actually saying if you're Afrikaans, just don't, go and, don't expect to study in Afrikaans ever? That's not the point. The it point, is what you're saying. The point is, can we envisage a situation where everyone can understand what is being taught? As long as it's English? N not as long as it's English. What is that medium? At, 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 the, at this stage, the medium is English. It's not what we are choosing, it's what it's before us. Majalicha, how much support does Open Stellenbosch enjoy on campus? Uh, on campus, it's a bit difficult. I wouldn't know how much support we enjoy, 
because we're representing people who experience exclusion. Obviously, people who don't experience that exclusion is hard for them to understand what we're even talking about. Are there members of the university staff and of yeah. the, the, the power block at the university who you have relationships with, trust relationships, who understand what you are trying to communicate to them? Yes, we do have allies within the institution, people who support us and who understand what we're working on. And what is your next step? Um, our next step is to try and get a meeting with, uh, with uh, Vim de Villiers because we still want to engage with management and we'll make sure that that happens. And top of the agenda, the first thing that you will talk about at that meeting? Top of the agenda, let's review the language policy. And your, and your suggestion will be English across the board? Every class should be available in English. Okay, Majaleche, thank you very much for coming in to answer. Thank you. Dit was Majaleche Matume van Open Stellenbosch. En so kom ons by die einde van vanaanse rechtstreekse uitsending van Insig hier uit ons atelier in Johannesburg. Tot volgende maandagavond, tot ziens.